tragedy struck in southeast Baltimore shortly after midnight on Monday, April 25th, around 12.57 a.m. That's when Baltimore police were patrolling the popular Fells Point section in Baltimore when they heard gunshots coming from the 1700 block of Thames Street. Police ran to the scene. When they got there, they discovered a man suffering from multiple gunshot wounds. Unfortunately, he didn't survive his wounds and was pronounced dead a short time later. His name was Marco Nunez, and he was only 30 years old. According to his friends that were close to him, Marco was a wonderful father and a loving husband. In a place like Baltimore that has a top 20 murder rate in the entire world, you never really know if that shot of alcohol you just took with your friends will be your last one. This goes back to what I keep saying. That you're truly not safe for murder, no matter what street you're on in Baltimore. That's why sometimes I almost take it personal when people say it's just like Baltimore and other places. Because it's not. You can check out the Baltimore murder rate video I got pinned on my profile, if you don't believe me. According to witnesses, Marco could have been shot three times in his back at close range. There may or may not have been a security guard that gave chase or couldn't catch the shooter, although I don't have much evidence of that. You gotta be a real coward to shoot a man who's obviously just out with his friends having a good time and fails point for nothing. And that whoever pulled the trigger, just know you could run as fast as you can. You can get away from the scene, but you can never outrun your karma and what God has coming to you take a man away from his family and kids when he's just outside minding his business having a good time. And you're going to pay for that. Believe me. If you want to donate to Marco Nunez's official funeral fund on GoFundMe, this is how it looks like. I'm going to put the link in my bio. And thank you to Marco's friend for letting me use that footage of your last night out together. I'm sorry you had to go through that. I pray for your soul, Marco. I hope your family can find some peace in these tragic times. Gun violence is a real epidemic in Baltimore, a widespread disease. As always, thanks for tuning in to Baltimore Murder.